What's good, family? It's your boy AQ back in the GT with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you five must have mods and accessories for your F Series BMW. Showing off the massive trunk space of the GT today. The whole back row also folds down with these, if you didn't know. Giant trunk. So starting with number one, by far the easiest mod that you can do to your car is the colored start stop button. I got this one from Keys Motorsports. So of course it comes with a button with the color of your choice. And also with this little piece of double-sided 3M tape. I've done this one before, so it should be pretty easy. All you have to do is stick this on the old button, pop it out and pop the new one in. So anytime I'm doing something like this, I like to clean the surface with a little bit of alcohol just to make sure it sticks good. And for number two, we'll go ahead and do the logo lights, door light projectors. I had these on my last GT, but this time around, we got the extra slides, which come with different logos. So first I'm gonna take the lights out. If I remember correctly, these come installed with the regular BMW logos and the M logo ones on the side. Since we got the extra slides, we're absolutely gonna change them. To change the slide out, you just have to slide it to the unlock position. This comes off and then you can grab the lens out. It does have an arrow pointing to the top. Being very careful, you can just pull it apart and take the old slide out. Top written on the top part. Make sure that's facing up when you put the new one in. Remove the plastic on either side. The new slide in, top facing up, it only goes one way. Same with the lens cover, it only goes on one way. Remember to put this back in with the arrow facing up. Put the cover back on. So let's take the old one out and pop this in. Under the door, here's the old light. Look for the side with the notch. It's a notch on this side. Get under there with a the thin trim tool and just gently pop it out. So we'll unplug it, old light and new light, and plug the new one in. And make sure to pop it back in the opposite way you took it out. Obviously it's daytime, but you can still see those colors. Definitely gonna come back out tonight and see what these look like in the dark. Back in the trunk for number three, you will go ahead and put the BMW floating center caps on there. Just like the start button, I'm gonna use a piece of double-sided tape, make sure it has some surface area on it, and pop it out. Let's see if this same piece of tape will work. This one wants to spin already. I did switch to a new piece of tape for this one. It's being a little bit stubborn, even though it's the loosest one. There she is. That's nasty up in there. and pop the new one in. the clips on the side. Mm -hmm. 
for number four, we're going back in the cockpit. Try not to mind my dirty mat. We got some M-style gas and brake pedal covers. My last GT wasn't an M-Sport, so it didn't even have the footrest. Since this one is an M-Sport, came with the M-Sport footrest. So this time I just ordered gas and brake covers. First, I'll take off the OEM brake pedal cover. And pop the new one on. Kind of hard doing this with one hand. And do the same thing with the gas pedal. So much better. Number five is a simple accessory and it has to do with your keys. My last key fob had the red to match the sport line trim. This one is blue. Been running this F34 keychain I got off eBay for a while now, but I always wanted this one. Now I can't lie, it does look like this has been sitting maybe in a warehouse somewhere for the better part of the last decade. They did discontinue the GT after 2019. This was very hard to find. The dealerships have these out of stock and no longer for sale. So if you can find one at a decent price and you want one, I would jump on it. This is the BMW part number if you wanna try your luck. I'm not too mad, it doesn't look perfect. It is a keychain. it's gonna be roughed up, but it's gonna look official on my key fob. It does come with its own screw-in key ring. I gotta throw this on. You know I wouldn't be right without giving you a bonus. So I'll go the extra mile and give you a few. First one has to do with the sun. I got my Notorious B.I.G. shades on. The sun is very powerful and it will beat down on your car, even on the inside. So on sunny days like this, you need some sort of shades. Now you don't have to go with the BMW branded ones, but I absolutely recommend getting some kind of sunshade, especially when you're parking in direct sunlight. This BMW one is a little annoying to put on, but it gives you corner to corner coverage on your windshield. Okay, bonus number two has to do with this cigarette lighter here. No one is smoking cigarettes in my car. And even though we have a USB in here, this car doesn't have wireless charging up here, but I've had this dual USB cigarette charger from BMW since I had my 540i. Nice little touch. It glows with a green light in there. Whenever you need to take it out, just flip this bottom part up and pull it out. But mine doesn't leave the car. And the last bonus mod for the day, these M colored seat gap fillers. I've seen several kinds on eBay and Amazon. Not the prettiest mod, but definitely a useful one. It stops me from dropping my phone, keys, wallet, glasses, whatever, down into the cracks. It secures around your seat belt and fills this gap. And I for sure recommend getting something like this. Those are my top five F-Series mods and accessories, especially to get when you first get your car. We live for the easy mods. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more F-Series content. Stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.